Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gear 360 Plays Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we made our way through the dark and mysterious Ilex Forest, and are now on our way up, up, mm, up through Route 34, hoping to make our way to Goldenrod to uh, see if we can't take on the gym there, and I know that any of you who know uh, Pokemon Crystal know what I'm going to have to face in Goldenrod. Uh, the notorious Mill Tank. But we'll get to that when we well, <laughs> when we get to that. For now, we're just going to push our way up Route 34. And hopefully, if all this battling goes according to plan, we'll get there and maybe do some things before the end of the episode. I forget, was this the first episode, the, sorry, mm. first video game in the series where the trainer used, no, no it wasn't, but this was the first uh, game in the series where Pokemon could hold berries, like the, the berry system started up, and uh, that was always useful, I thought, alright, let's go ahead and clean up all the trainers around here. Now. This area between route before between the Ilex Forest and Goldenrod, Route 34, has some very interesting things in it. Most of the Pokemon that you're going to see are psychic, or a lot of them are at least, which is kind of rare for an area. But what you're also going to see is the daycare center, which we're about to head to after I talk to her. A practice battle. Picnicker Gina. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gina. Here, have some fire. Oh, that's just hateful. <laughs> oh, so close! I think after... Oh, well, no. We'll just clean up. All right, we're going to have a Quillava by the end of this episode, too, it looks like. But yes, also in the last episode, I talked a lot about uh, my opinion on Disneyland versus Disney World. And you got to understand, my family, we are nuts for Disney stuff. Like, probably crazier than we ought to be given the age of all of us, but, um, you know, there's just something kind of special for us about the Disney parks. It's like that special getaway destination. All right. Let's see what happens. All right, Cyndaquil. It's been nice having you. Say hello to Quillava. Who is also adorable. Congratulations, your Cyndaquil evolved into Quillava. Yay! And whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Sure. Now, the problem is we can only register, like I've said before, a certain number of numbers, which means that eventually we're going to probably have to get rid of her her or someone else, so... Uh-oh. But the trip there to uh, Disneyland was something as well. Like, really cool. Uh, I've never been out quite that far. You know, past Arizona. I've, I've got family in... Oh dear, he's got a mohawk. I forgot about that. You know, we've got family in Arizona, and, and Arizona's beautiful. Uh, you know, I, it always amused me. Um, last time we were out there, not this time, obviously, but last time. Uh, yeah, let's change change out to Pidgey. Uh, last time we were there, we went up to the Grand Canyon. And that's up through Sedona and uh, into the mountains up north. And we were up in the mountains, and it surprised me, but it started snowing. 
in Arizona. And I, I remember being just completely baffled by this fact. Because it's desert for miles. Like, you just look around and it's like... So few people have grass lawns. Like, there's so very little lawn in that in that state, quite frankly. Well, at least in the area where my grandparents live. But, uh... Alright, let's see. But, everybody's got a rock lawn. Uh, which is, which is really special, because you don't have to mow it. But they do a lot of really cool stuff with it. But it started, of all things, it started raining. And I was... Sorry, snowing. And I was just amazed. But, uh... What is the side duck? There we go. But we, um... We started out... Obviously, we live in Oklahoma, so we went out through the Texas Panhandle and into New Mexico. And we stopped for the night in... Oh, I've completely gone blank on the name. I cannot believe it. I've completely gone blank on the name. But it's a city down in this basin. Right? Like, uh, a lot like... Um, sa uh, sa Damn gummit. I'm so bad at telling this story. Anyway. <laughs> I'll get back to that eventually when my brain kicks in. But first, welcome to Goldenrod City. Oh, that music. I love Goldenrod City's theme. We'll get back out to that in a second. But first, let's get everything back to back in order. Goodness gracious. But yeah, we st stopped for the night in, uh, in New Mexico. And it, it, it's weird country. Because it goes from being just flat as a pancake and, and full of desert to mountains. And beautiful mountains. Um, first thing... First thing to do when you get to Goldenrod, step one, day one, is go down here. The world is a cycle path to the bike shop and talk to this fella. Could you ride a bike and advertise for me? You better believe it. Give me your name and phone number and I'll loan you a bicycle. Put the bicycle in the key pocket. My bicycles are first rate, you can ride them anywhere. Oh, so much better. So, this brings up this lovely item, the select button. I've registered the bicycle now, so anytime I want, as long as I'm outside, I can tap the select key and get on my bicycle. And now my movement speed is twice as fast. It's so nice. And then I just tap select again and I get off. And I get to listen to the beautiful golden rock music. <sighs> Alright, so while we're here, let me show, give you a quick tour of what we're about to get into. The Pokemon Center is here. They don't have a Pokemon here. But what they do have is the Goldenrod City Shopping Mall. Department Store. Excuse me. So here we are in the lobby. And we can take the stairs to the elevator. Second floor is the Trainer's Market. Third floor is Battle Collection. Medicine Box. TM Corner. Tranquil Square. And the Rooftop Lookout. I don't think there's anything to do up on the lookout other than, well, literally, lookout. This is another fun place. The Casino. The music here always reminded me of another uh, Game Boy game, uh, Power Quest. Ding, ding. But yeah. And you can buy gaming stuff or whatever, but anyway. Moving on. Other buildings in the area include... This lovely house. Oh, you collect Pokemon? My son Bill is an expert. He just got called to the Pokemon Center in Ecritique City. My husband went off to the game corner without being called. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone's husband uh, should probably go home. This 
is uh, an interesting feature. Shops downstairs, but there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. But this is the downstairs area, and there are definitely trainers. These people will fight you. But there's also some nice rewards for going down there, and it leads you all the way under Goldenrod City to the other side of the tracks. The, the tracks, literally, here. And the other side. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. The other side. Haha. -ha. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You'd better be careful. Oh, I'm not afraid. I don't want to fight anyone right now, though. But as I said last episode, it has the radio station, which will be, uh, it'll feature fairly heavily. Uh oh. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, Pest? Scram! But this is the radio tower. We'll be spending a lot of time here, but let's talk to the lady at the front desk. Welcome! Okay, wrong lady. This lady. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it in your polka gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? You better believe it. Question one. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Yes. Yay! Question two. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at a mart. That is true. Bullseye! Question three. Does HMO1 contain the move Flash? Nope. As we saw in, in the last episode, it contains Cut. So far, so good. Question four. Is Faulkner the Violet City gym leader? Violet City. Yes, he is. Yay! Right again, here's the final question. Do Goldeen Game Corner slots have Charmander on the reels? Uh-oh. Now that one is actually a question that I'm not entirely sure. It has been so long since I did the Game Corner. So I'm going to have to guess. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to say no. Yay! I was right. <laughs> you got to guess sometimes. Congratulations! Here's your prize, a radio card. And now double as a radio. Please tune into our radio shows. Sweet! So we go to our poker gear, and we've got our map, our phone, and our radio, which you actually can tune. There's Oak's Pokemon Talk. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk with me, Mary. Jigglypuff may be seen around Route 34. Jigglypuff's heart-meltingly friendly. Rattata may be seen around 46. They can see everywhere. But yeah, Oak will tell you uh, a few places that you can find things, and he repeats himself sometimes with slight alterations. But then you can tune into other programs. Pokemon Music with Ben is is great. Uh, he plays two songs, I believe. The first is Pokemon March, which acts as essentially a tract. So if you're out in the in the wild, Pokemon will come to you more often. But he also plays, and I forget if this is during the, if it's a day-night thing or if it's an every-other-day thing, but he also plays uh, Pokemon Lullaby, which works like Repel, so all the Pokemon in the area don't mess with you. This is the Lucky Channel. How y'all doing now? Whether you're up or way down low, don't you miss the Lucky Number Show. This week's Lucky Number is... 26968. I'll repeat that. This week's lucky number is 26968. Match it and go to the radio tower. All right, now that's uh, something having to do with the ID numbers of the Pokemon in your party. If you have the matching ID number, they'll give you, I want to say it's a Master Ball. I'm not entirely sure, though. And that's it on this radio right now. But it's a, it's a very useful item. But yeah, uh, I think we'll explore the rest of the radio tower in the next episode. 
There's a lot to see here in Goldenrod. I've not even been everywhere there is yet. We've not even touched the gym. But we'll probably start on that next time. Uh, get started down in that underground passageway, too. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. <laughs>